Hi there, I'm going to show you how to input different file types into SPSS. First, you always want to open up the file, scroll down to open, and choose data. Now, depending on the type of file you have, uh, you can choose different options here. So, first off, I'm going to show you how to open up a TXT file. So, scroll down and you'll tell you see the option for .txt. Click on it. Choose the file type and the file that you want. We're going to choose entrance.txt and open. And it's going to open up this import wizard. Uh, we're going to leave this uh, option alone uh, and then just click next. Uh, SPSS wants to know how the variables are arranged. We're going to leave it here at delimited. And then we're going to tell SPSS in this case that there are no variable names included with that data. And that later SPSS will assign variable names, so don't worry about that. Uh, and then SPSS wants to know on which line the data starts. In this case, it starts on line 1. We're going to leave that option. And then we want SPSS to run all the cases, not just a certain number. So go ahead and click Next. And then here, uh, we can specify which delimiter delimiters appear between the variables. So we're going to have the tab option selected. And you can see that our data now has a more specific format that looks a lot more like SPSS. Go ahead and click Next. And you have the option to name the variables if you'd like and choose their format. I'm not going to worry about that yet. But if you did want to, you could change the variables and then their names by just clicking here. And you can choose which variable you want to name. Click Next. And you have the option, finally, it w to choose whether or not you would like to paste what you've done into a syntax file to run it later. Um, I recommend doing that. But for our, the case of just learning how to do this, we're not going to worry about it. Go ahead and click Finish and SPSS now has this data file open into SPSS format. Next I'm going to show you how to open up a CSV file. It's very similar to the TXT file. Um, go ahead and click open and data. Again you got to choose the type of file. Scroll down until you see the CSV. Here it is in that same option with the text. We're going to choose this time to open up flavor2.csv. Open. It's going to open up that same import wizard. You can see it looks a little different now, um, and it looks like on this first line we do have variable names, so we're going to keep that in mind. Click Next. Um, we're going to leave these options uh, for the delimited, um, but are variable names included? Yes, they are, so here they are, so we're going to go ahead and click Yes, and click Next. Um, because variable names were included, um, we want SPSS to know that the data actually starts on line 2 and not line 1, and it did that automatically when we told it that variable names were included and then we do want all the cases. Click Next and here you have the option to choose the delimiters again. Um, notice that there seems to be an extra variable here that doesn't have any data. Um, so we can try to figure out what is causing that and I think it's this space option. Yeah, you click the space one and that variable disappears. So go ahead and click Next and now you have the option to assign variable names if you'd like and the type of format and the number of characters um, for this string variable. Um, we're not going to worry about changing that right now. Click Next, and lastly, you do have the option to paste in a syntax, but we're not going to worry about that. Click Finish, and now your file is open in, X in SPSS. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to open up an Excel file. Go ahead and click File, Open, Data. you got to choose the file types. Let SPSS know that you're looking for an Excel file. Now we're going to open up this flavor2.xlsx file open and it's going to ask you if, if the variable names are included in the very first row of the data and so you have to know from your file if the variable names are included. I know in ours that they're not included so I'm going to uncheck this option and click OK and it opens up this file has the variable names inputted from SPSS just V1 through V4 and then the data is included here. Next, I'm going to show you how to open up a Stata file. Um, it's handy that you can do that in SPSS. Go ahead and click File and Open and Data. Um, Stata uses their own format called .dta. So you just want to scroll down until you see that option. Here it is, Stata.dta files. Notice you can also read in SAS files if you are looking to do that. Click Stata in here. It opens up this entrance.dta file that I have pre-saved in this folder. Click the option, Open, and it's as simple as that. Lastly, I'm going to show you how to open up an SPSS file. File, open, data, and we're just going to click this option. It's the default option available, so it's the easiest to open. Just click entrance.save. It's the file we want to open. Click open, 
And there it is. And that's how you open different file types in SPSS.